A viewer writes in, does a relationship with God have to be perfect or does it just have to be true? God always does his part, but sometimes I don't do mine. I want a deeper relationship with him. I've been told that God just wants me as I am. What type of relationship should I have with God through his son, Jesus? Look, uh, we are made perfect by the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, we're sinners, uh, you know, not by right works of righteousness, which you have done, but by the precious blood of Jesus. You and I are conceived in sin. We live in sin all our lives. We miss the mark constantly. There's not a day that it goes by that we don't sin. And the Bible says, be perfect even as my Father in heaven is perfect. Well, that means complete, finished, but it's finished by Him. It's Him. And uh, faith is, is believing in Jesus Christ. And the Apostle Paul said, look, do you do these miracles on account of uh, the works of the law or the hearing of faith? No, it's the hearing of faith. It is believing in God's power. And uh, so I don't know what you're looking for, but how do you get perfect love? Does any marriage, do they have perfect love? Well, you grow in love if you, if you get to know somebody well enough. You get to love more and more about them. Uh, you know, that, that song, and that Jesus Christ superstar day by day, you know, I love you more <laughs> dearly, love you more dearly, and so forth. Well, you, you grow in love. Okay. Joy writes, it is difficult to find books, TV shows, and movies that do not have street language, sex, or blasphemy. Is it a sin to watch or read the modern day media? Uh, look, if you don't see some of these things, you'd have to leave the world. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the world is saturated with sexual innuendos. I mean, good grief. How many ads for Victoria's Secret do you have to look at? How many of these things are out there? I mean, that's the whole idea is to have scantily clad models selling products, whether it's toasters or automobiles or, or insurance. I mean, they're out there. And so the, the, the Bible says, I think it's the 101st Psalm, you read it. He said, I've, I've set no vile thing before my eyes. Yeah. And there are some things that are really vile. And the answer is you shouldn't be watching them. But the fact that they, there are about, oh, 200 screenwriters in Hollywood who have the dominance in the media, and they're doing everything they possibly can to put dirty language and sexual situations, and now homosexuality, into scripts over and over and over again. Now, you could just say, well, turn that mess off and not watch, or... You can watch Christian television, or you can go out and take runs in the country. I, I don't know. You, it takes a little more work, but you can find a lot of good movies. I, I have been fortunate to find a lot. I love to watch movies, and so I found well, some they're, really they're, great they're, movies. They're, they've got a ranking system, uh, you know, yeah. uh, PG and, and, then, yeah, and so on. If you get the R, you're going to get the know, language. We had a sweet little lady here. I mean, she's like a little grandmother, and she writes those romance novels. Yeah. You know. And it, but she said every, it's a formula, and every uh, ten pages you got to have a sex scene. Mm -hmm. And this little this little grandmother's, not, you know, and her, <laughs> she was breathing hard, and he grabbed her, you know. You know had to, uh, but anyhow, she had to put that in her books because the publisher said you've got to have, it, have it in order to sell the stuff. Anyhow, it's, we live in a, in a corrupt world, and until the Lord comes back, it's going to be difficult to live in it. But be in the world, but not of the world. All amen. Right. Amen. Well, Deborah writes, why are some Christians hit with major problems over and over again, while many other Christians are just confronted with small everyday issues? Is it true that God won't give us any more than we can handle? Well, the Bible is very explicit. There's no te testing taking you, but such is common to man. But God is faithful, who will with the testing always make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Now, I am a firm believer, and I know <clears throat> this sounds a little spooky, but I, I do believe we can bring stuff on ourselves. There's some people who project trouble. They think trouble. They think evil. When the day starts, what you need to do is say, this is the day the Lord hath made, and I have victory today, and I am an overcomer in Jesus Christ, and in the name of Jesus, I'm going to prevail. Mm -hmm. You start that way. Or... Old Slewfoot has been after me again, mm -hmm. and uh, he is giving me nothing but trouble, and I feel terrible, and I think I'm going to get cancer. Oh, I mean, Ooh, our, I mean, words are so powerful. The, you, <laughs> by your yes. mouth, you'll eat good. 
by the fruit of your lips. So I just believe some of these people bring stuff on themselves. They think yeah. that way, and I, you need to think victory. But beyond that, I, I don't know what to say. Go That's ahead. right. All right. Well, good advice. Well, Lawrence writes, Pat, I would like to know where God came from. I don't think anybody has ever. The Bible starts out, in the beginning, God. Mm. Before there was a beginning, God was there. He is self-evident. There's nothing in the Bible that goes back and says, well, here's where he came from. Uh, you know. It, kind of hurts your brain when you start going there. Well, you know, you know the old um, scholastics in the, in the early, uh, you know, in the, in the Middle Ages, came up with something they thought that was so brilliant. They said, well, every cause has to have a cause. And so then you'll come to the uncaused cause. And that's God. Well, I mean, that doesn't tell you anything. I mean, so all I know is God has told us in the Bible what we need to know to find salvation and to have be happy and to be successful and to reach him ultimately for all eternity. He says, this is the plan. Here it is. But as far as where I came from, I'm not going to tell you. Mm. As far as what I am to mankind, I'll tell you. I'll send my son to show you what I'm like. I'll, do, I'll give, give you a book that will tell you what I'm like. I'll give you a book to tell you how you're supposed to live. But as far as where I came from, just know in the beginning I was already there before anything could begin. So they talk about the Big Bang. Well, hmm. I, I can go along with the Big Bang, but there was a God that compressed all those molecules before the bang happened. So. Where He's he came I am. from, we he, don't know. He is I am, and that's the and end that's, of the That's exactly it. And his name, by the way, I'm glad you pointed out, is Yahweh, Yehovah, he who causes everything to be. That's his name. Mm. I am the one who causes everything else to be. That's my name. Okay. All right. Great questions and excellent answers. Thank you, You're sir. You're so sweet.